हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज योर मास्टर टीचर सुरभि हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग टुडे सो गाइस वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू टुडे सेशन ऑन द चैप्टर ऑन इक्वालिटी this is the very first chapter of your 7th standard and one of the most easiest and most interesting chapter jo aapko batayega ki aap pure 7th standard mein kaun sa concept padhne wale ho that is equality right so all are welcome here it doesn't matter who you are irrespective of your caste your sex your place of birth your class you can watch today's session hai na mazedar all right so guys before we start today's session let me introduce myself to all of you who are uh, you know probably they is uh, seeing me for the very first time or uh, are just new to the channel of young wonders my name is surabhi gupta and i am your social studies educator uh, i have done my bachelor's from lady sri ram college my master's from jawaharlal nehru university and uh, i just had a chocolate uh, which uh, you know someone gave it to me and now i'm feeling really bad about it <laughs> that is a little bit about me now very quickly all of you who are new to the channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel of young wonders mark your attendance by giving a thumbs up right now jaldi se thumbs up de do wahi par aapke option hai and do not forget to subscribe to the channel also share this video with your friends if you think that this video will help your friends as well chalo A very interesting fun fact for the day before we start today's session is that did you know one of the most stolen items is not an iPhone or is not a laptop. It is cheese. Cheese is the most stolen food in the world. Four percent of all cheese ends up being stolen. पता था आपको इस बारे में मुझे तो नहीं पता था सो इफ दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज कम्प्लीटली न्यू टू यू डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लेट योर यू नो पेरेंट्स एंड योर फ्रेंड्स नो अबाउट दिस फैक्ट चलो Let us begin with the chapter on equality. Now, guys, equality, जो है ना, it is a very important feature in any democracy. When we talk about democracy, we are talking about a form of government in which the citizens have the power to choose their leaders. If we do not like our leaders, we have the power to change our leaders. जब इस तरीके के, when we are talking about this form of government, then equality. becomes a very important concept equality matlab all of us should be at least should have political equality matlab all of us at least should have the same voice should have the same vote hai na justice bhi hona chahiye that there should be fairness in society people should participate in forming the government and if there is a conflict in society if for example the government passes a law that we do not like or if two people start fighting with each other to us conflict ka us disagreement ka ek proper resolution hona chahiye that means that it's not like someone is being put in jail without any proof there should be a proper judicial process these are certain key elements in any democracy equality is a major you know very important concept that we need to understand first and we are going to talk about equal right to vote maine aapko bola tha na kisi bhi democracy mein political equality bahut zyada important honi chahiye and by political equality i mean the right to vote in india our constitution guarantees that guarantees as the political equality through universal adult franchise universal matlab everyone adult matlab who is above the age of 18 and franchise means right to vote so everyone who is above the age of 18 has the right to vote irrespective of their social cultural educational or economic background does not matter what caste they belong to or how rich or poor they are all of us have one vote if we are above the age of 18 ठीक है ऑल राइट नाउ गाइस इवन दो वी टॉक अबाउट पॉलिटिकल इक्वालिटी वी टॉक अबाउट एवरीवन हैविंग वन वोट और व्हेन वी लुक अराउंड इन सोसाइटी ऑल ऑफ अस विल एग्री कि कंप्लीट इनइक्वालिटी नहीं है माय कंट्री में वी डू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ इनइक्वालिटी है ना इन व्हाट वे फॉर एग्जांपल पॉवर्टी कुछ लोग बहुत पुअर है सम पीपल आर वेरी रिच कास्ट सिस्टम इज अ ह्यूज रीजन वाई देर इज इनइक्वालिटी सोशल इनइक्वालिटी इन आर कंट्री पीपल हु बिलोंग टू द लोअर कास्ट हु आर दलिट्स दे आर ऑफन मिस ट्रीटेड एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड अगेंस्ट राइट एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस काइंड ऑफ इनइक्वालिटी लेट अस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस बॉय कॉल्ड ओम प्रकाश वाल्मीकि वेन ओम प्रकाश वाल्मीकि बिकेम अ मैन ही रोट एन ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल बुक कॉल्ड जूठन where he talks about his experiences of being a lower caste boy in a small village 
right so he is a dalit he talks about how uh, you know when he used to go to school uh, he would be asked to sit on the floor one day his principal told him that you will not study today you imagine a fourth standard student so tiny they are carrying their heavy bags and the principal tells him that you will not you know study today i will give you a broom you will be brushing off the entire playground you will broom the entire clean the entire playground with your broom he continued to to do that and no one said anything all his, all the his friends all his, all the other students the teachers all of them looked at him as if he was a spectacle you know as if wo kuch performance de raha hai right he was not even allowed to drink a drop of water while he was sweeping the ground it was only when his father was passing by the school his father saw his son you know prakash palmiki sweeping the ground that he went inside and screamed at the teachers and the principal and he was allowed to go back to class However, this entire experience, if imagine if you were Ant Om Prakash Valmiki and you had to go through this experience, how would you feel? कि तुम बाहर ब्रूम से, you know, you have come to school to uh, learn and see no one is talking to you. You are asked to sweep the ground. You are not allowed to drink water. It's extremely hot. How will you feel? Quickly, let me know in the chat box. Good. You will feel like, ha, huh, this is life. No, na. You will feel bad. You why are you feeling bad? Because you are not being treated equally. Because it is not fair, right? Let us look at exam another example of inequality, and this is the story of Mr. and Mrs. Ansari. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Ansari are very educated and from a well-to-do family, right? They earn decent enough, and they are looking for a house in Mumbai. right now uh, when uh, you know they, they ask their landlord so when they go to one house the, the 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 you know the owner of the house says that oh we actually are not uh, you know we we don't give to only couples we want family okay then the other person says that oh actually we are we don't allow non vegetarian to be cooked in the house even though she was cooking chicken in the kitchen so obviously it was a lie then the landlord tells them that look you will get a house if you do just one thing Mr and Ms. Mrs Ansari said okay what should we do then he said why don't you change your name to Mr and Mrs Kumar you will get a house like that Mr and Mrs Ansari refused right uh, and, and you know with time within 2 months they did get a house however this entire story the first question is if you were Mr and Mrs Ansari would you change your name to Mr and Mrs Kumar so that you got a house Quickly, let me know in the chat box or in the comment section, yes or no. No, yes. But why? Why did they not change their name? Because they felt that just because they belong to a particular religion, they should not face this kind of a discrimination. I mean, it's just religion, right? So they, but the the reason why they felt bad was because they were not being treated with dignity. They were not being treated with self-respect. They were not being treated as if they were equal human beings. When you are treated in an unequal manner, when you are not treated with respect, it is your dignity that is violated. Om Prakash Valmiki and Mr. and Mrs. Ansari, both of them face the same experience of their dignity being violated, of their, you know, of their. like they were not being treated equally when human beings are not treated equally even in class if i pick out pick you out and you know start scolding you start treating you in an unfair way you will start crying you will start feeling ki yaar why is this happening to me i will be violating your dignity right right so even though we talk about equality in our constitution inequality continues to exist in society our constitution has very strong provisions when it comes to equality for example we have an article 15 of the constitution that talks about right to equality that says that every person is equal before the law matlab every person does not matter whether he is the president or a beggar everyone has to follow the same rule book everyone has to wear a seat belt no matter what no person can be discriminated against on the basis of their religion race caste place of birth or whether they are female or male every person has access to all public places you cannot be stopped from entering a public place and untouchability chua chut treating someone as if they are untouchable is a crime it is abolished 
राइट नाउ दैट वी नो की हाँ इक्वालिटी इज इम्पोर्टेंट इन अ डेमोक्रेसी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट कम्स अप इज वॉट कैन द गवर्नमेंट डू टू एंश्योर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में तो है बट वी स्टिल हैव एन इक्वालिटी इन सोसाइटी सो वॉट कैन द गवर्नमेंट डू टू एंश्योर दैट द इक्वालिटी इज गारंटीड टू द सिटीजन through laws and through different government programs and schemes and one such government program and scheme that has been successful is the midday meal scheme now this scheme was initially introduced in tamil nadu but it became so successful that in 2001 the supreme court said that all the schools of the country should implement this program within 6 months right now what was the problem now when you talk about government schools in villages in particular the main problem was that very there were very few enrollments very few students went to school right and if they did go to school the attendance the 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 you know uh, retention was very low students would often go home for lunch and they would not come back or students would drop out you know in the middle of the year and they would not come back so these were the problems the government were facing so they decided to introduce the midday meal scheme and it increased enrollment and attendance of school in children more and more parents from poor families especially started thinking let us send our children to school at least they will get free lunch second it reduced caste prejudice why because everyone had to sit together to eat food did not matter if you are a upper caste or a lower caste or who prepared the food you don't know right so it reduced caste prejudice third you can never study on an empty stomach have you guys ever tried to study on an empty stomach how do you feel you know dimag nahi chalta hai aise aap blankly dekhte ho right so when we started feeding these kids food nutritious food they were uh, full for a long time and they were able to concentrate in class right now the question is that if government schemes are really so helpful in removing inequality does that mean that inequality no longer exists in india no inequality continues to exist kyunki guys government sab kuch nahi kar sakti sarkar sab kuch nahi kar sakti it is also about the attitude of people right about how we as citizens treat each other three people who belong to a different caste or a different religion or a different economic status or because they are men or women right and therefore it is important that each one of us believe that no one is inferior or lower than us just because they are not of our religion or caste or gender and every person deserves to be treated equally or with dignity all right now you will say ma'am we don't want to live in india so much inequality so much problems we have in country pollution is also there water is also not clean but don't worry let's talk about inequality first inequality is a problem that not only india but countries all around the world face and we are talking about especially the united states of america where uh, just give me a second all right we are talking about especially the united states of america where the african americans or who are also known as, as the blacks are one of the poorest people even today in the country right so there was a time in the 1950s when there was segregation in united states of america segregation matlab the blacks were not allowed to marry the whites and uh, you know they had to go to separate schools they had to go to different hospitals they had different localities where they stayed right the african americans were denied equality through law matlab through law only they were not allowed to be equal to the whites for example if a black man or a black woman is sitting in a bus and a white person enters the bus the black person had to give up their seat right and this is a story of rosa parks rosa parks was an african american woman and after a long day of work she was going back home now when she was sitting in the bus a white man entered the bus and asked her to give up her seat because she was a black woman rosa parks refused to give up her seat and her refusal started sparked a huge movement which was called the civil rights movement civil rights matlab basic rights that you require to live as a decent uh, you know human being the civil rights uh, movement act 
finally in 10 years 1955 this uh, uh, rosa parks refused to give up her uh, give up her seat in 1964 almost 10 years it took for the civil rights movement act to be passed that prohibited discrimination on the basis of race religion or national origin that said that no one can be discriminated on the basis of where they are their skin color color their religion or their national origin it also said that now marriage is allowed between whites and blacks they will no longer be separate schools and hospitals for them uh, however in the call i mean this is a law that was brought but just like in india even in usa a law does not solve everything attitudes continue to remain same and that is why african americans are one of the poorest in the country now guys there is no country that is completely democratic because there is no country where there is perfect equality this is something that we have to continuously strive for so guys that was the chapter in one shot let's look at some homework questions so guys these are homework questions you can pause the entire session and let me know the answers for these questions right four questions let me know the answer right now in the comment section below okay now guys very quickly my grade 7 students i hope you know that the pro light batch or the pro light program for vidantu has started where for the entire year you are taught english you are taught science and you are taught maths and you are taught ssc for the entire year you will get all the subjects that are taught in school for 5000 rupees but if you use my coupon code sug pro you get it for 4500 rupees the lectures that you get the sessions that you get are high class high quality lectures right test and assignments are also given to you study material ka pdf bhi aapko milega books chahiye to pro class se pro plus lena padega par agar pdf chahiye to aapko isi 5000 ya 4500 rupees mein milega there is no tuition in the entire world that will offer you all of these subjects for the entire year along with test and assignments and vip a guarantee ki aapko progress ho gayi aapki padhai mein nahi to we will give, give the money back to you itna sab kuch aapko koi tuition mein nahi milega i can guarantee you that hai to mujhe bata do message kar do ki ma'am ek ko main jaanti hu wo sirf 100 rupees mein sab kuch hame deta hai bata do aap right so all of this is available to you and uh, you can join right now because batches have started and quickly come to our batch which is an amazing batch right 4500 rupees for the entire year do not forget to put in with the coupon code sug pro so that you get a flat discount and also you come to my batch all right okay so guys the details are in the link in the description box i will be seeing you next time whenever we meet uh, remember after every two sessions we have a live class so make sure that you switch on the notification of young wonders channel so that you do not miss on any of the live classes and you follow me on my instagram page where i also post the you know the day we have a live class i post kar rahi hu ki dekho live class shuru ho gaya hai aa jao so you can join me there also surabhi.vedantu telegram channel bhi hai jisko aap join kar sakte ho that is it This is your master teacher Survi signing off for the day. Do not forget to thumbs up, mark your attendance, subscribe to the channel of Young Wonders. Thank you all of you. This is your master teacher Survi signing out. Love all of you and bye bye.